is up, ladies and gentlemen. You're here for a special edition of GoPro Bell Ringer Problem of the Day, whatever you want to call it. It's too long of a title to put in the description. Sorry. Well, the description you can, not in the title. I'm Tyler from TarverAcademy.com, and let's get our learn on, shall we? Okay, so what we're looking at is solving systems of equations, like a boss. Okay, so ignore this, ignore that, look at this. Okay, what we're trying to do by solving systems of equations, we want to find x, y, and z. I'm going to pause, stop talking, let you give your best shot. Try something. Pause it, then resume. Ready? Go. Okay, so I'm assuming you gave it your best shot. Hit them with the best shot! Okay, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so let's look at this problem that's working. Okay, what you want to do is you want to solve for x, y, and z. Okay, your best way to do that, that I like to do, is by elimination or substitution. Um, which one should we do? What do you want to do? Let's do uh, elimination because it sounds cooler. Okay, so with elimination, what you want to do is you want to essentially knock out um, your variables, knock them out until you only have one variable and you can find out the number that it equals. Okay, so we're going to pick two of these. Um, let's do um, this one and this one, these two together. Okay, so what I can do is I can do 2x minus y plus z equals 3. I just rewrote a, and I'm going to rewrite b. We got x plus y equals negative 1. Now I can add these two together. Okay, so when I add these together, that would be 2x plus 1x is 3x. Add those two together, which is the reason I did this, because with elimination, you have to have complete opposites. If one of them is a 2, you need to make the other one a negative 2. And I could have multiplied these. Like multiply this one by something to equal it. Uh, like if I wanted to, I could multiply this one by negative two, and that would have canceled these out. But my y's are sitting here nice and pretty, and so I just use them to knock it out. So negative y plus y is zero, so the y is gone. So add z equals z plus nothing is z, and then three plus negative one is two. Okay, so now I've got one of my equations. Now I need to do the exact same thing with another pair. I just did a and b, so now I'm going to do b and c. So I'm going to just put a and b. Now I'm going to do B and C. Okay, so this is what I want for that one. So I'm going to now do B and C. So I'm going to write C first because it's just nicer on top of that because it's longer. And then X plus Y equals negative 1. Now do I have to do any changes to this? Do I need to multiply this one or this one by anything? No, I don't. Because this one, just like the other one, has something that's already an opposite. So 3X plus X is 4X. A lot of kids will uh, say, oh, 3x plus x is just 3x. No, there's always a 1 in front of it. Don't forget about that little 1. Okay, those cancel out. That's negative 2z. And then 7 plus negative 1 is 6. Okay, so now I've got two equations. Now, I've just narrowed down. The hard part is you've got three variables in each of these. That's difficult to, to narrow down. So what we're doing is we've knocked it down to 2, and now I'm going to do elimination again, but now with these two, okay? So I'm going to rewrite them over here. 3x plus z equals 2. And then 4x minus 2z equals 6. Okay? I'm going to work those two. Now, I, I need to multiply these because I have nothing that's automatically an opposite. Um, I can do these, multiply that by 4 and that by negative 3, and those would cancel. But I think it's going to be easier if I just multiply this by what? That's a negative 2z. What do I need to make this to make it an opposite? positive 2. So I'm going to multiply all this by 2. Now when you do, make sure you distribute to all three of them. Okay? So I'm going to rewrite this one underneath. Is that cool with y'all? Cool, because I'm doing it. So, sorry little cat, you're gone. 2 times 3 is 6x. 2 times z is positive 2z. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? Now, add those together, that's 10x. Those, negative 2z, plus 2z cancels out at 0, that is 10, divide both sides by 10, x equals 1. Boom! x equals 1. Now, that's one of the three answers I need. And we were like, well, you've written so much. I know, I feel so accomplished. You should too. Okay? So now to do the next part, I'm going to erase this, so I have a place to write. I can pick either one of these and plug x in. That's going to help me find z. So I'll just pick the top one. we got 3x plus z equals 2. I can plug in 1 for x, so it would be 3 times 1. 
plus z equals 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus z equals 2. Subtract 3, z equals negative 1. z equals negative 1. And you're done. Psych! You've got one more. What are we missing here? We have not found y, okay? Easiest way, I think, would be this equation right here. So we got x is 1 plus y equals negative 1. What do I do to get rid of my 1? Subtract it from both sides, negative 2. And that's it. You did it. Got my answer. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe. Check out tarbrickacademy.com. And, you know, tell your friends about this. Or tell your teacher. Say, teacher, why don't we watch these as bell ringers in class? This has been too long. Peace! Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.